Today I'm gonna to be going over Google Analytics for events and key events. So I'm gonna be going over how to set up an event using Google Analytics for and how to turn it into a key event as well. And then also how to do the same exact thing using Google Tag Manager. So how to set up a Google Analytics for event using Google Tag Manager. Specifically what I'm gonna be showing you today is, let's just say for example, I own this swimming pool website, which I technically do, but it's not a real company. But basically let's say I wanna track two things. I wanna track every time someone lands on my thank you page and then I also also want to track every time somebody calls me. So every time somebody clicks on one of my clickable call buttons. So we can track the thank you page very easily using Google Analytics 4 without using Google Tag Manager. And then we can also use this or we could use this one for Google Tag Manager. So in the previous video, I went over how to install Google Analytics 4. You definitely wanna watch that video if you don't have it installed yet, but I assume you have it installed at this point and now we're ready to set up your events. So in that example video, what I showed you was I have a Podio website. This is where I host my Google Ads course and really any of the courses that I'm gonna be creating are gonna be hosted here. So Podia manages, handles everything as far as the sales, everything like that. So when I set up Google Analytics 4 for Podia, you could see all I had to do was enter my Google tag here. So very, very simple, just get find my Google tag, enter it in the little box for Google Analytics tag. And now this is automatically tracked all of my events and well, all the events that they have already set up there. And then it's already tracked the purchase event as well. So basically what you can do is if you have a, a website like this, and there's plenty of examples of this where there's a Google Analytics 4 integration. I just did this recently for a client. And basically once I set up that integration, it pulled in all of their purchase data directly into Google Analytics 4. It pulls in begin checkout. It pulls in every single different event that is tracked automatically by the system that runs their website. So that's one of the things you definitely wanna do. And, and one of the things Google Analytics 4 doesn't get enough credit for is sometimes you enter a tag like this and I went into my analytics for Surfside courses. You could see we're just looking at yesterday's data, September 29th. You could see I had three purchases yesterday. So I sold three courses yesterday, four begin checkouts, and you can see some clicks, first visit, four form start, which I would assume this is begin checkout. I, I think any form that I put on the website, I don't really have many forms on the website, three purchases. So some scroll, some session start, some page views. So definitely want to increase my traffic. Definitely want to increase my purchases. I was getting more purchases initially, and now we've kind of gotten to the point where we're getting, you know, two to five every day, I would say. So what I, what all you have to do generally, if you have an event that's already there and you want it to be within your key events. So if we go over here, you can see, okay, yesterday I had three purchases for a value of $104. We come over here to events and we say, you know what? I want to track begin checkout. Somebody starts the checkout process. I want to track that as a key event as well. Cause that's also more begin checkouts is going to lead to more purchases. So you could also do the same thing for something like form start. I've done it before for scroll just to get more people who are scrolling all the way down the page. Not generally something I do all that often, but for this one, if you already have the event in here and you want it in the key events, Google analytics Four has made this very easily mark it as a key event event and now it is going to be within your key events. So if you have the events already set up like that when with a with whoever however you are managing your website, there are a ton of different options that that will do this, but something like Podia, once I enter this here, they're like, "Okay, we will take care of all the purchase events, we will take care of all of those different things and we will put all of that in your Google Analytics 4 account." And then if I want to create a Google Ads account, I can actually or Google Ads campaign, I can actually optimize for those key events. If I'm monitoring my data on a monthly basis and saying, okay, what's leading to purchases? What are the traffic sources leading to purchases? I say, okay, organic search, a YouTube, you know, whatever the referral is, whatever it might be is leading to these, to these different purchases. And that's what I want to optimize for. So that's where key events can really come in handy. And there's a lot of things you can do within the reports to actually optimize better for your key events. And that's something I'll go through as I continue my Google analytics for tutorials. But what I want to go through today is let's just say, I want to track this thank you page and I want to track this call button. Well, any call button on my website. So I know how many calls I'm getting and how many people are at, how many leads I'm getting a month, basically. So calls and lead forms. This is really good for lead generation companies. I may create a whole separate video about this just to kind of show how to do it. But what we want to do is to do it just through Google Analytics 4, we could track this thank you page. First, make sure you have Google Analytics 4 installed. You can see I already have this set up in here. So the easiest way to do it, and this one right here, page view thank you, is the event that I already have set up and I have it marked as a key event. So you can see how easy that is to mark it as a key event. If you don't have this option here, I'll, I'll also show you how to do key events as well. So if we click on create event, and this is basically all you need to do, we're clicking on create, you're creating a new custom event, 
We're saying page view, thank you. That's the name that I selected. Page location, and that is looking at the URL of the page. So you can see, thank you. This is the URL, like part of the URL. But it's saying page location, basically page URL. I don't know why. This is one of the issues I have with Google Analytics 4. Just name things exactly what they are. Page location, just call page URL. So page location contains thank you. So basically any page on my website that contains thank you, if I have thank you one, thank you two, thank you three, thank you four, however many different thank you pages I have, it'll track every single one as a conversion. And basically all you need to do to set this up, we're in the wrong one here, all we need to do to set this up is saying page view thank you and saying page location contains thank you. You could also add a condition. I've seen where page view equals true. Generally, it's not going to make a huge difference. So if you're setting up a custom event for a page location, a specific page URL people are going to land on when they fill out your form, create the event, name your custom event. So we can name this pretty much anything we want to. I could say thank you page and I can put aqua bliss care. You can name it. Thank you page contact form. You can name it contact form, whatever you want to name it. Custom event name. This is kind of a long event name, but we're just doing it as an example event name equals. This is not the one we're going to be using. We're going to be doing page location. You can see there's different ones too: page location, page refer page title. So sometimes you could say page title contains a specific word, and then you can use that to basically say, okay, this tracks everything in, you know, our bedding category or something like that. You know, when I used to have beachfront decor, beach bedding, coastal bedding, nautical bedding, I can say page title contains bedding. And then I know that that's going to be an event. Every time somebody visits one of my bedding pages, one way to track things is just with the page title page location is the most common that I use basically the input must start with HTTP or HTTPS. If you use equals, that's what I like to use contains and just say, thank you. And it's that simple click on create. And now we have this event created. Okay. So now we have a brand new event created here. I always copy this and then we click on save again. Now what can happen sometimes, even if we refresh this after you create an event, it's not going to show up here. So you're just not going to see it here. And it's kind of one of the frustrating things again with Google analytics Four. so if we come over to key events, what you can do to set this up in the meantime is new key event and just name the event right here, save it. And that will make that a key event now. So now when it starts tracking as an event in here, and once you start seeing this tracking as an event, it will track as a key event as well. So this is kind of a workaround that you can use, especially if you want to import this into your Google ads account, or if you're just trying to get, I want to see what my, what statistics I'm getting for my key events and where that traffic is coming from. So this is the easy way to do it. Just go to your events, create a new event in here using whatever parameters you need to. And then under the key events, you just use the actual event name and it will automatically populate in this page. So the other way to do it is for a, and we're going to do a telephone call for this one. So I already have this set up for a phone call here, but we'll just set it up again. And let's see if I, I guess I haven't used the, okay. So what we can do is. First, if you are using Google Tag Manager for a phone number or for pretty much anything, just make sure you have some of these built-in variables added. Sometimes it'll come with some of these, but I always add all the click and form built-in variables. If we come over here to tags, you could see all the different tags that we have. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to create a new Google Analytics 4 tag and we'll say phone call GA4 event tag. Okay, so then tag configuration, we are going to be doing Google Analytics, Google Analytics 4 event. And now we want to input our measurement ID. So we come over here, we go to the admin page, we go to our data streams, click on this little arrow. And here is our measurement ID, come back over and copy that there. Next is the event name. So you can name this anything again, I could do phone call and we'll just, just to show how this works, we'll do aqua bliss care. I always copy this. Okay. Cause we're going to need that again. And now we have GA four event measurement ID event name. And obviously if you're using tag manager, you need this installed on your website as well. I can do an updated video for that. These, this is basically what's going to trigger when this tag counts. So what we're saying here is okay, just links when the click URL contains T E L. So that's a very, that's the one that I'm going to use for setting up for a phone call. We do trigger configuration. You could do click on just links, some link clicks where the click URL contains T E L. Okay. So then we, okay. So then we just set it up as tell GA four. Okay. So we're doing click on links on our website where the click URL contains tell. So if you probably can't see this, but the URL here is T E L colon, and then a fake phone number. So if we come back over here to Google tag manager, we have 
our trigger set up properly, we can click on save. Tag configuration set up properly, trigger is set up properly, we click on save again. And now all we need to do is submit our version. You can, you can give it a descriptive name and a detailed description and we will publish this. Okay, so now we have our GA4 event tag. Now all we need to do is come back over again to Google Analytics and what we need to do is we just create an event that's gonna start counting. Once, once we start getting some of that data, that event should start counting here. It's not gonna count there automatically. So we come over here to create event, create, and you can see I did this for lead generated. This is one that was set up in Google Analytics 4. Event name equals lead generated. So what that's basically saying is if we come over here to tags, and we find our Google Analytics 4 event thank you page, you can see we have a GA4 event for our measurement ID with the event name lead generated that's going to trigger every time somebody hits on the thank you page, page URL contains thank you. So over here you can see, okay, we have our event name equals lead generated. That's all you have to do to set this up. So if we create a new event, let's see if I still have this, nope, we did phone call, Aqua Bliss Care. I'll make sure I did that correctly. So phone call Aqua Bliss Care. Parameter event name equals phone call Aqua Bliss Care. And we click on create. So now this creates a custom event within our Google Analytics 4 profile that we're, we're now going to start optimizing for. Just like to double check the event name phone underscore call underscore Aqua Bliss Care. We will make sure we have that set up the same over here. So phone call phone call aqua bliss care okay it looks perfect okay last but not least we go into our key events we create a new key event and all we have to do is put that event name there okay so phone call aqua bliss care we click on save and now we've set up two different key events that we can start actually monitoring for and i'm going to be going over how to use the reporting in here to see some of that so this is how to use google analytics 4 to set up events and key events and also how to use google analytics 4 with google tag manager to set up events and key events so if you have any questions about this please leave in the comment section thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the surfside ppc youtube channel